Atlas. They'll try and get you into sight and get you some space. Fade and Sova will work very similarly, but with the nerfs to Sova, it will be a bit of a struggle. And there's that, there's that right away, right? There's that suppression, and the chamber doesn't have his deagle anymore. Right, and that is that is such a strong ability. I mean, if you know where they're going to be holding up, um, seems That's like it. you can. Oh, really nice shot there from Artada on B Hop. Really nice. Looking now up onto the gam, the, the the little platform up here, trying to see if they can get a peek off. Shortify gets Artada. Shortify finds a double kill there. Really, really nice done on the raise. Doesn't necessarily know if Behop Alyssa is below him. Was that from Seeking him out there. Almost finds a triple piece, but doesn't. They're, they will trade across, though. They do get Alyssa in the end. Oh! Oh, wow. Got the right click there. I like that. I see with the right click to close it out. That was a really, <laughs> really clean initiation into that side, actually. It was a fast mid A split. Um, and they got the initial pick right off the bat, which allowed them to get into sight really fast. But I feel like their post point positions were they struggled a little bit there because B Hop came into those post point positions and the way they had it is that no one could really trade each other. So it ended up being that, you know, it was just a bunch of one v one duels and Rewind was able to pull out some great one v one fights to bring that retake back. Yeah, exactly right. So um this map, I've been told, has is a little more defender-sided with kind of the more narrow corridors we see um, from that side. So these big smokes, what, what, what's going on with, with those? How are they getting them into that location so quick? Well, th this this is one of the most common smokes we see now. Um, that You see a one-way off that, which means that the attackers cannot, they physically cannot enter um, without showing their feet and giving the defender first shot. They will always have advantage on that smoke specifically. These one-way smokes that are kind of more specific to Valorant have really slowed down a lot of pushes. Omen can do them really well because of the way his smokes work, that he can pick exactly where the location is, and he can use the geometry of the maps. They are resetting here, but they are going to re-hit a... Oh! oh, the Marshall coming through from Icy. Really nice. Taking down Sarah there. Sneaking around the corner now. Just a nice little two tap there. Finds a little jet dash. Cannot find the second kill though. Ken is gonna take Artada down. Trading kills across the board now. Celestial down to the last man, and Rewind Esports is gonna take that second round. Yeah, that that's an expected round. It was a full force from Rewind. Um, so I'm not too surprised. That was a pretty safe round. The one thing I am surprised about is there's a couple there's a couple of interesting things Rewind did economy-wise. They had four people buy up Spectres, or three Spectres and a Marshall, which led to them being able to, you know, have that opening. And now they have one Phantom coming into the next round, so they do have some fight potential. The one thing that I'm surprised about is the Chamber. Quite often, you'll see Chamber on their, if they, their bonus round or their first round, they'll just use their Deagle. But instead, it looks like he went with the Marshall. And now he will have enough to get an off next round, but it is going to be a little slower. And look at how much the pace is slowed down here. Look at this default from B Hop. They're just seeing who's going to push, who's going to make an aggressive play, and kind of go from there. Yeah, I really like slowing this game down um, for sure. I mean, just kind of running through that choke point. This map has so many of those tight little corridors getting to the other half of the map. Um, really can, really why it's kind of known as more of a defender sided map. Um, I really love love me some Spectre here. Um, <laughs> I, I, as someone who just cannot seem to find hits with the Vandal, Spectre seems to be my best friend. Um, so there, there, there is a gamble towards A here. If you look at the mini map, there are three players from Rewind currently at A site with one guy watching over mid. So there's a lot of gaps in the coverage right now, and it looks like they're actually gambling wrong because Diop is all coming in onto the B site nice and fast here. Yeah, only one to hold. Looks like Rewind's going to have to get a quick response here. Let's see how many he gets from the backside if they know he's here. Let's see if they can clear him out. This is Discipline. Oh. Nice and Discipline. Oh. Can't quite find the raise. Shortify finds one. They do trade it across, though. B-Hop with a man up. Let's see if they can now hold this spike up to Rewind to make the push. Scouting now with their Marshal. 
hit a really nice shot earlier. See if they can recreate that. Hap Omen finds the double there. They do oh! trade. Oh my gosh. Icy is really, really sweet with that Marshall so far. He's, he's feeling it. So <laughs> Icy is their alt player, so I do expect to see the op come out here. Um, or he might be buying. Interesting. So I'm looking at the economy, and actually, this is actually a little awkward. I'm, I'm really surprised that we're seeing Rewind Esports do this. The way I see this is that I see, yeah, okay, he did. He should be dropping a gun here to someone, then he's going to use his alt, which is an operator in itself, to try and secure this round. But there are jet knives on the other side. So there's a couple ultimates coming up here to help fix these economies, but both economies are really broken right now. Bring see a bulldog, bulldog and a couple other small ones here. <laughs> yeah, th this round, whoever wins this round instantly puts the other team onto a save next round because they both reforce, so this is a really tough round for everyone. Right. Because if you lose here, you are going onto a save and you're more than likely going to lose next round. Right, and you really have a quite a path to, to kind of recovering that economy. Very similar to CSGO. Here comes the no command. On a fast push. I love that smoke position there, just really... Able to silence that that top area there. Atada has really been popping off on the jet so far. Definitely what you want to see from your entry fragger. I don't like this one. Oh! Artado <laughs> is going for the sneaky play above the smoke. Couldn't quite find it there. Oh man, I'm 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 making notes there about that that arrow angle. The Sova arrow, really pretty there. They have enough to get B-Hop off this point at the moment. They have a man up. A little bit of a little bit of a cluster here. Oh, finds the shot. Alyssa clean on the vandal. Able yeah, to it was a great, that great cleanup there by B-Hop. I, I like that they just they committed the extra alts to try and guarantee the site, and they have the retake capability. The only thing that I noticed with rewind that I'm I really want to see something a little different from is that all the retakes so far have been very single location focused. Mm -hmm. um, all the retakes on A side have all come from A heaven and all the retakes on B have come from uh, their spawn from Tiki spawn. Instead of having some people come through mid, come through tree and the door there, mm -hmm. I really want to see a little more variation in the retakes. But I see this gamble here. Look at this. Three stack already on B site. Mid is completely open outside of a tripwire. Yeah, you're talking about the variance. It looks like they're trying to shake things up a little bit. I like leaving um, Litchie here on the post, posting up here. They look like they're kind of faking B. They have an option to go through middle. They have not opted for that yet. They've always kind of favored this side. Um, and if you know your smoke locations, I guess this side feels pretty good. Rewind Esports seems like they've figured it out, though. They are now rotating to AR Tata with a nice little entry frag there on Icy. See if they can find a couple more picks. They would really like one more before they feel really safe, but still having a agent up at this moment. Got to feel good if you're B-Hop. Oh, oh I, thought, I thought he hit the sheriff shot there. Went down just before that. B-Hop looking very strong on this point. So, Kimson is going to find that little bit of a flick there down to just the Spectre. Let's see what they can do. Get quite a clutch here. Let's find the 1v3. Can great not. Double swing. Yeah. You know what? That, that's a great, great cleanup by B-Hop. They lost two, which is unfortunate. They got a little eager at certain points. Mm -hmm. But that was an eco round for Rewind Esports. That's an expected round to lose at that point. The way I'm seeing is that BOP is getting really quick access to these sites. I'd like to maybe see a little bit of a variation in who's playing where. Um, because one thing that's happening is that BOP is, or Rewind is not getting a lot of info early. So they don't really know what's happening early outside of what they hear. So they're not getting any early info, which is making it tough for them to actually, you know, find anything. It looks like they are trying to play aggressive on B here. I don't mind this. Trying to get a little bit more info now, and if you can, you can see the chamber. He's posted fairly aggressively here on B side. Right, chamber on the rewinds side now, looking at the other side of the map. I do like the strategy a lot. B hop very composed right now. Ooh. Get the entry pick there from the KO from Litchi. 
See if they can find this will slow them more. down without no command. They can't really force this thing. This is really scary to do without right with that null command running. Um, it'll slow them down, but they could easily reset. There's still a minute on the clock here. There's no rush. Mm -hmm. yeah, and you can see they're rotating over to A now, and the Rays is anchoring for some reason, and she's going to be all alone here. Right, and this is a dangerous spot. Here we go. Who has the faster reaction time? Ray is going to find Shortify. it, though. Shortify looking really good. Brian D finds another pick, this time on Artada. This could save the round here for, e for Rewind. Hop looking really good to that point. This power of Kago though, and his kind of his point denial had to make really force Hop to go a completely different direction now. Posted up on the door. Hop down to two. Can they clutch this out? Just down to the omen. Need a hero play. Finds one pick. So hey, you know, it's always good when you take down a fully equipped enemy, even when you you take a round loss. Absolutely. That's really. This is really important, right, for Rewind here. These guys, right now, Behop is a little bit of economy to work with. They have at least one to two more rounds that they'll be able to easily cover their economy um, from the looks of it. Uh, that might only be one, actually. I lied to you. But they do want to still have another full buy here, and even you can look right now, and Rewind doesn't actually have a full buy here. Crimson, they will have to go like shields, probably, plus rifle. Or they might get the drop from Rays, which they do. Okay, Shortify does drop over to Crimson Hill. Should be a full round here. We do have the Operator coming out on the chamber on Spicy. We'll see if he can get a lot of impact with that, because I know the first off we saw did not get a lot of value, actually. Oh, we've got the, we got the rifle out here for chamber by the looks. This thing has such an intimidating noise. It's kind of a jump scare every time I get killed with it. So we're kind of getting... <laughs> used to it. Holding this mid site here for the moment. I'm not sure about that swing. That's okay. Yeah, I, you know, one thing I'm seeing is I'm not seeing a lot of operators. So we haven't seen a single operator outside of the two chamber ults in this game, and so far, I don't think I've seen either one of them get a kill with it. This round is still early, and there's still the opportunity, but now this tree side's open, and this is really awkward, because... Your B site looks very weak at the moment. We'll change on a late rotate. Oh. oh, really nice reaction time. Swaggy Waggy picking up that kill. I really like this by Swaggy. He, he re-aggresses, so he at least gives them a little bit of info towards mid, so they know they're not coming up tree. Mm -hmm. um, and if you look at Ray's on Rewind right now, she's pretty far up. So, in my opinion, I really wish I saw the fade rotate a little bit earlier here. Um, there's Okay, they know the hit's coming to be now. Everyone's rotating over. They are indeed rotating over. Can they find an angle around the smoke? Artada showing a lot of skill so far through this one. Kind of been untouchable on the medium in the medium range in the sights. Kimzen is going to trade across. Behop still up a player. Oh, Ray is making a play. Oh. The rocket. Oh my gosh. Litchie's going to have the reaction time, a goaded reaction time. They're able to stop that play. I loved the, the angle that Ray's came, that Shortify came in on there, but, I mean, just got neutralized. Yeah, I really, I really like that retake play um, with the Fade Alt plus the Ray's Alt because the Fade Alt makes it so that you're deafened and you can't hear anything, and then the Ray's Alt, you won't be able to hear the rocket coming in. Because one of the things that gives away Ray's rocket is you hear, here comes the party, and it's quite loud. <laughs> But with right. the Fatal, you kind of mute that. So that was just a really good shot um, from the side of B-Hop to shut down those two ultimates, which is really big because now they have a huge ultimate economy advantage. That's super interesting. You know, I didn't even catch that. So so they did not hear that that engagement, even though it, it's really explosive. Yeah. That's they, super. They did not know that rocket was coming. That's a super interesting... That even makes the reaction time I like this more impressive. The four-man gamble on oh. A-Site. Oh! Where they're going. They got the Sova. Artada, once again, absolute menace. It's what you expect out of your initiator. Just trying to get in deep and dirty. Trying to make an absolute mess for the other team. You're winding down three now. Spicy picks up a double there with the Phantom. Yeah, that, that chamber lurk from mid late was kind of huge. Here. No, it was just the one guy left, and they're hunting the kills. Right. B Hob. Slow start, but taking several rounds now in a row. Probably feeling really good about themselves. Economy, man, some sevens there, looking really good. Yeah, I've, 
if you're looking at the economy now, B hops in an excellent spot. This is starting to snowball really hard because along with the one thing that the, the one interaction that a lot of people will kind of overlook and not think about as much is the fact that one of the ways in which you can rebalance an economy is an ultimate round where you use a lot of your ultimates. Um, with the previous round and B-Hop able to take two of Rewind's ultimates and still win the round means that the economy and the ultimates are in their favor, which means it's really easy for them to snowball right now. So this is a really tough spot for them to be in. Right, and so when you're down like this, how do you get? How do you claw your way back in a game? I know you get a little bit of that bonus, uh, bonus money whenever you have several round losses in a row. But uh, how do you get back in? Uh, I'd like to see something more aggressive from the defense, to be honest. Um, the offense has been leaning pretty heavily towards the site, and they they haven't really shown any aggression on the defensive side. Um, and, and what this leads to me is that the offense is starting to feel comfortable that they can take. If you look mid right now on the mini map, there's three people completely walked up mid for free. Because there isn't a lot of that aggressive pressure. And I think that we're seeing a lot of Rewind being really scared at the moment. I'd really like to see them make an aggressive play towards the site using the Omen Flash, for example, or Kato Flash. But they know the hit's coming here now. Oh, Artada couldn't quite find the headshot there. Does he get a little bit of damage? Oh, Brian! Down! Brian finds a really nice double there. Oh, man. It's kind of lurking. b -Hop wasn't expecting him to be there. Finds Good the discipline here. Wow. Great discipline right there that is some wonderful discipline from rewind um they had seen the hit coming in but as soon as they started shut down one guy instantly went back to defend b those are great disciplines now it's a 1v5 yeah and you know when you're down as you're talking about you got to make a play somewhere um some you've got to kind of uh beat the odds and it looks like they've kind of made a little bit of a comeback here I'm not sure why you gave up that angle um oh okay Oh, wow, they get quite <laughs> a flawless Brian, Brian has there. a wonderful round, though. That's one way to get back in. One right. of the players clutches out. They have a great round with the 3K to completely shut down the site hit and lead them to give it a flawless, which will help their economy massively to start getting back into this. Yeah, this is a, that was a really impressive round. I was kind of feeling a little bit uh, uneasy if I was putting myself in the shoes of Rewind. We will be following them uh, for the next two games, too. It's just kind of how the round Robin was going sort to of play out with uh, four teams. But uh, uh, really, really good. As you're talking about discipline, that's exactly what you want to see. Uh, just not uh, not jumping on every single opportunity, waiting for the best one. And uh, yeah, they were able to come find back that. to their tried and true. They're yep. back to their tried and true. A hard hit through A. It looks like it's going to hit eventually. The difference is... They are setting a late lurk mid, and I'm wondering if he's going to go all the way up mid or if he's going to fall off. So the knife did show there's a couple people there, which means the KO will instantly fall off, which is good. But there should be a lean here. Um, the Fade's here. The, if you look at the minimap right now, Fade is currently sitting on B-Site. But the Chamber's got B-Site held down. Mm -hmm. um, and he'll have enough early info that I feel like the, the lean towards A should be coming already, and it's not... Like but a little skip skip right there does. they were kind of avoided the rays rays now not it, knowing if someone's there or not yeah I, he might have been able to hear it it was it might have been close enough i'm not sure but you know what the discipline is good for them because all of them are rotating back to the site now mm -hmm. rays is jump spotting through mid you know there's a trip there but just getting them extremely helpful instantly gets dinked on the chamber wow very pretty much one shot at this point Finds the drone pretty quickly, but gets detected. Oh, this is a little bit scary. Oh, Swagger Raggy does get taken down by Lichy with that spray through Re Rewind. Looking like they could try to get a little bit more value here. They do. They do drop, though. Brian D's going to trade across. B Hop now. Trying to hold this site down. Angling. I like the jiggle peaks I'm seeing out. Don't have a ton I think of just time left. For exits here. Oh wow! Oh two. He knows what the last is. He's low. Oh, oh the triple. Is certified. Okay, I see you. Is it enough though? I can't quite tell. Oh, oh we got it. Time. Oh wow. What a clutch. Oh my god. Shortify coming in <laughs> absolutely massive with the 3k.
to bring that around back. Dang. Okay, I see you. Okay. I mean, short if I was denied on that same site with that really great kind of rocket jump you know, play, I, I think, and then I think he's a little upset. I yeah, think he was yeah. A little upset last time he got, you know, he he got shot out of the air like you know he was playing Duck Hunter and he was got you speeded. know here. If anyone here's old enough to remember <laughs> that old game, you know he's playing Duck Hunter and he gets shot out of the sky, so he came back and decided to drop. I've heard tell of that game. I've been to a couple museums, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Spicy now. Trying to look at mid. Wow, oh. a one. Oh my gosh, the accuracy from that distance. Really, so really. Here, nice here's the one thing is that I, I'm. He gets the opening pick, and I'm not a fan that he instantly chose to fall off. Uh, that he chose to re-peak. I think you take your one-man advantage and you kind of walk away at that point. Um, you still have trips mid to help defend which have now been taken and now now there's a bit of a scramble because you lost all mid control early there's no idea of where this is going and everyone is leaning towards b when in reality the hit is at a this is gonna be a really late retake from rewind esports exactly right they do have an operator oh, to no, this work was with okay we saw icy with the marshal earlier Let's see if they're able to clutch this out i love the way they're they're kind of scouting Barely peeking out, doing that jiggle peek. Kind of an old tried and true technique from the CSGO days. Still alive and well. I don't even know if they're going to go for this. This might be a save. Well, if you have an op, be, you know, I think be. you might. But there's only there's only one round left. That's the thing. Right. I wouldn't mind a save here. I think they just need to. Oh, okay, now you go for it. For sure. Let's go, let's go, let's oh. go. Oh, does not find a Martada. Finds. The kill on Icy, that's going to be an off down for Rewind Esports. Trying to find a couple more kills before they go. Swaggy Waggy with the double. That's Can't good. get out though. But hey, you know, it, that was maybe better than a save. I don't know. So having everyone die, I, I, need, to, I need a quick tap from the observers because I don't actually know where our economies are sitting at. So this is actually really interesting because so Icy invested in the off and didn't get a kill with it, which means he actually doesn't have his off right now. Right. Um. He doesn't have the two to force, which means he actually coming in the last round does not have a gun. Unless oh, no. Crimson will have to draw him something. But this is actually a really awkward spot because he did not get at least one kill with his operator. He doesn't have the two to force online coming in this round. He has to either try and get an orb or get a kill with his deagle. Right. There is some aggression here, as I talked about, right? I am seeing some aggression because they are trying to get that orb for him, right? Mm -hmm. So they got that orb for him and then they fall off. I really I like, like that. that. That's a great play. Really nice. They get the orbs, they have the tour to force online, and now they reset and they can reevaluate the situation. But the lean is looking towards B at the moment. Yep. This is a really big fake on the A site. Holy sh Dinah, look at this fake. Blade. Everyone's running out. away. Wow. It's on into B. Wow. Just the rage. Oh, I think they sniffed it. Looking. I think he sniffed it. They realize it's a fake. Go straight for that door that we've seen that from Artada before. Takes a bit of damage, doesn't get gunned down yet. The Fate Ultimate comes through for Rewind. B-Hop now looking really early. strong on this point. I'm, I'm not a fan of that. I, I would've liked that to wait just a little bit longer. Ooh, really nice pick there. Love the look of those blades. See if they can find it. Artada does find a blade kill on Brian D. Does trade across. Oh wow, just so much go went on. And everyone <laughs> instantly died. Yeah, was, that was wild. I, I really wish they held on to that fatal a little bit longer. Um, very they tried cool. to use it preemptively, but they weren't in a position to instantly push out with it. Mm -hmm. I really wish they would have waited. Let everyone get set up. They had the time. The spike wasn't even planted yet, and they could have just waited a second, and then retake as a 5v5, and take their opportunity there. But... Overall, not it was a very back and forth half surprising. When we got down to the wire economy wise, which shows that the half was very close. But yeah, it does come out with the seven to five. Um, one thing that we did talk about earlier, Branson, was the concept of defender sided map here. Mm -hmm. And although I agree this is a defender sided map, the one thing with coordinated player when you're playing in a full five stack is that often defender side loses a lot of value because the attackers are going to come in much more coordinated. Mm -hmm. There's going to be splits and utils all going to be coming out at the same time, which means you lose some of that value on the defender side. Right, yeah, that that, that sounds that sounds right to me. I mean, that, yeah. that's super interesting. I mean, oh, did they, got, did they get the raise? I, I completely Yeah, they got, they got the early pick. It was a great... Uh, wow. Oh! Oh, Arda! Oh, 
Okay, nice Anna. shot. I love that ghost skin too, by the way. Oh, cannot oh. quite find. Did not quite know they pushed through that choke yet. All right, Shortify, let's see it. 1v4. Let's see the clutch. Definitely wants to find one or two. This is a great defense, though. This is a great defense, and the, the flank's already here. Oh! Ooh. This actually opens him up. He does have some space to work with. Um, But, yeah, the, the defensive setup there is actually really great. This is a really hard spot for Shortify to be in. Mm -hmm. Um, He doesn't really have a lot of options here. He's going to cross this mid and hopefully not get seen, but there's already one rotating. Two are sitting at A, so he's actually got another 1v1 here. This does make this doable. Oh! oh. Spicy. Who's ready the for one him? type from Spicy. Shortify really showing a lot of individual skill. Not enough that time, but... Uh... Of course, uh, for those who maybe haven't seen a lot of CSGO or a lot of Valorant, the teams have switched sides halfway through each game. You know, they get to flip attack and defense. Ah, uh, we have the classic Sova Ares here. One of my favorite. One of my favorite things ever. Um, the reason why this works for anyone who's unaware or newer to Valorant is that Sova's recon arrow will ping any enemies that it sees. And he can then spam because the Ares has high penetration, so he can spam through that wall and kill anyone on the other side. Oh my choking. gosh, it's a cheese strat. What do you know? <laughs> <laughs> they are getting aggressive here. I'm not, you know what, I'm okay with getting aggressive here, but this could bite them really quickly and give away some guns. They are on the advantage. They don't need to make any crazy plays here. They can just hang out. Okay, it looks like Arda's just going to tuck here, which is... Okay, but I think he, he opens himself up to have some issues here. Artada once again finds the kill. Finds the oh, lurk Oh, Sarah gets a kill on Icy. Forcing oh. B hop now, or excuse me, forcing rewind onto B to make a play before they get completely surrounded. They don't yep. seem. Ooh, gets the double! Spicy! Yeah, shot's way spicy, yep. Wow. You know, I. I... I'm a little surprised we're seeing a default style look there. Um, you're on the eco. Um, the other team has gun advantage on you, and if they all had, if they all had guns there, I think they would have had a good opportunity because there's a few spots where they actually got first shot off. But because you're on the disadvantage, I think you just need to try and use numbers, and try and hoard a player versus trying to find individual openings. So we do have a full buy now here from Rewind. This will be the big round for them. If this round goes poorly, they are going to be in a lot of trouble, though. Mm -hmm. I do see a very heavy A to mid lane. Look at Arda. <laughs> this is the aggressive plays I want to see. Look at how far up he is. He oh is my Arda gosh. Just they know this is A. Coming through they mid now is, is B Hop. Oh, they don't even know he's here. Finds the pick, finds one, cannot find more, but a nice little trade. Oh, Itchy! Lit <laughs> Litchy. Litchy, I believe. Yeah, I think Litchy or Itchy? I think it's Litchy. We'll go with Litchy. That she finding the double right. there? I, I'll, I'll have to get someone from production to help me out with that. I actually don't know. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to get the uh, the pronunciation, but uh, go with Litchi for now. All right, I'll, I'll trust you on this. One. <laughs> Shortify's left in a one v three here. This is really tough. Is really tough. We've seen Shortify show a lot of gun skill here. Love that What's little quick peek, peek and dink. Oh, that was clean. I mean, clean as you like there. Just now. Down to the 1v1. He doesn't have spike though. Basically no HP left. Can't quite find it. And Litchy or Itchy. Likely Litchy. Finds the three. Is it? I can't. I, maybe it's. Maybe <laughs> I just don't have good enough quality. I can't tell if it's a T or I L. I could just be gaslighting you. Or an I, 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 I'm like. I, I don't know. I'm, <laughs> I'm being baited right now. The font is. Anyway. Uh, okay. So so I see Crimson Ill. And that looks. That L looks to me a lot like the L. In, in oh, okay, fine. Yeah, that's, we'll that's kind of what I'm going on. Litchie, but... I'm sorry for pronouncing this wrong, <laughs> but this is this is what you're getting today. You're a beast um, of the game, Litchie. Yeah, that's anyway, this is a really tough spot, though. Losing that gun round when you have gun advantage means that B Op or Rewind is now in a really tough spot, and B Op is in a insane position here. The operator oh. is available on defense, which is always devastating, and they don't have their down guns, they're down economy, and there's not a lot of rounds they have left. Oh, couldn't quite find Spicy there. Spicy's down to one with the op. Big disadvantage now for B Hop. Oh. Until I'm gonna eat my words. Able to find the pick with the Deagle there. They do have B side completely though. And, and these lower weapons, you can play close enough angles that you can get your 1v1s, right? Right. They, I, I don't mind this position because they have all of B um, and they're forced to play. Like, if you get close enough angles, 
They can make this really hard to retake. Oh, just not quite. Grimson with the deagle. Didn't love the push there from Alyssa. Couldn't quite find anyone before they were taken down. Give me one. Oh, pros never fade. And the rocket comes out to force it. Oh, clean from Sarah. Can't quite find it though. Does that was a bomb, great but... rift, thrifty. I'm oh. really. That was an awesome thrifty. Um, they went in, and I really like what they did. They decided to go a heavy mid push and just take pressure off mid. Because mm -hmm. the one thing that an op's always going to struggle with is multiple opponents staring at you. Right. And when you got five opponents rushing you down with an op, you have one TP out of chamber, and then you repeat, and all of a sudden you're 10 HP. Um, I really like what they did, and they tried to came. They tried. They brought the B players off B site to support the op, and what that led to was that the B site was wide open when they did get access to it, and they were able to use their lower guns at close range to force that win. Yeah, I really liked really liked that look there. Um, I'm personally very scared of pushing an op in that kind of corridor, but you know, if you have your friends with you, maybe it feels a little bit better. Kimson doesn't know there's an enemy right to the right. The patience here from Artada. Oh man, Arta, they didn't, they didn't. This is this is a disciplined play. Wow, how long are they gonna the hold this? It doesn't matter. I see. Okay. Oh, wow, Artada just that round in. was over before it started. Wow. I, I was getting confirmation on how to say a name properly, and I looked back, and the round was over. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the cheeky play really from Artada, just getting tucked into that corner. Um, Rewind didn't quite check it. Um, and, and, you know, for me, I would just be too excited to go get a kill or two to my name, but Artada really shows great discipline, great patience, um, and just staying there, letting the whole team go through before um, before pushing through, using the blade form, able to pick up the last couple of kills themselves for B-Hop. Oh, both the ops are out. This is a crucial round. We are 11 to 6 now. We are now in danger of this map being over very quickly, because I do not believe the economy is in the favor. Right now, I don't think that they have a lot of economy outside of this all. Oh, got him. I see. This, this is the value I wanted to see out of the, the right. operators. Right, he, he's showing... Oh, he's stuck underneath! Great, okay. quick sight take here. Very quick. Looks like uh, Rewind were ready to hold A. Lost a couple gunfights, now they are on the attack. I'm to retake it from B Hop. I don't think that grenade went quite deep enough. Not quite deep enough there. Uh that's okay. Pushing around the fade eye gets taken out. Everyone's stuck on sight. This is this is a shooting gallery at this point. Everyone's stuck on sight. There is no there is no secondary layer here. Yep. It looks like they're now fighting you're it out. had a brimstone. <laughs> they did fight it out. That was such a fast take. Right. The, you know, I, I'm seeing Rewind pick up the pace a lot here, mm -hmm. and it's getting them a lot of value in a lot of spots. The economies are a little all over the place, though. I'm seeing Deagles and a couple mm -hmm. rifles versus that we do have six rifles or five rifles on Rewind. Their economy actually is fairly in a pretty good spot. Yeah. Um, that should run them out to the rest of the game. Um, they need a couple more rounds here, especially because they only have two rounds to give now and. They, they, they can lose one and still be on a full buy, but their economy, okay, they just have to dig deep here. Yep, I, I, I want to see more aggression from Rewind. Um, really... The B-Op is on a full save here, so this this should be a little bit of an easier round. You know, mm -hmm. they, they do have the advantage. I couldn't quite tell if that was Fade's ultimate there. Oh, spicy. Oh, finds two. Spicy. Spicy with Man. the 2k there. That was a great couple shots here. Now now you're in an awkward spot though. Very, very awkward. Gets one on A, but there's two. I think the last two players, they don't. Okay, they, they've realized they're on B and they're instantly rotating over A. Okay, they know they have the advantage here. Oh! Alyssa, really Ooh. nice, nice vandal play there. Taking B hop down to two now. Now on to site. It's up now to rewind to retake. Yeah, I really want to see. I really want or B op is retaking now. Don't bait the viewers like that. Oh, am I am I talking? <laughs> oh, I am. I am. The colors are reversed on the map. I'm I'm crazy. Okay. 
Wow, okay. I Fire like that fly. play. Great, great play <laughs> by Rewind there. A nice little set play between the two players in the 2v2. Use the blind to gain advantage and then have the peak come in to try and gain the advantage early. That was an excellent play. Just a little one-off play to give them that advantage. We are coming back into a gun buy here, though. So this should be the, you know, another important round. Icy is looking really light on credits. Mm -hmm. um, I don't, I wouldn't mind Brian buying it here, but at the end of the day, it's not that big of a deal because they still have the economy to buy him out if they have multiple debts. But what, this is starting to get really down on the wire because if Rewind wins this round against B-Hop, B-Hop's going to be back on a save, and they should, Rewind should get 10 off of that, and then you're down into a best of, you know, three or four rounds, and economy becomes very important. So this is a very crucial round at this moment. Yeah, it seems like it's smoke. just as big for B-Hop, as you're saying, as it is for Rewind. I mean, obviously, Rewind have two to give, um, but B-Hop don't want to mess about too much. Try to secure this W. Silver Arrows not looking like they're finding anyone there. So there is, if you look at A-Side right now, there's two players over there with mostly everyone else fighting towards B. It does look like, I don't know if he knows he's here. Oh, he does know. Okay, he knows he's here. Kind of They're a... trying to full rotate here, but th this is a really hard rotate. Yeah. Oh wow. Oh, I thought they. I thought they got the wall ping on that one. My goodness, that would have been up on the highlights. Trying to get the wall bang through the boxes, get some damage through. Does it actually take out Swaggy Waggy there? Down to one. For rewind here. Be off. Crimson, I, oh, he was looking for the, the spike. I saw him looking <laughs> down, or they were looking down, and I wasn't sure if they could find it. Um, Match point. I think they got a little baited there. Um, th there was a little, B Hop had just Spicy just anchoring on A site um, from Tree. And because they chose to just close the door, I think they thought the site was much more open than it was. Mm. Um, when in reality, they still had the operator at Tree Room, and they also had. Uh, second player, I believe it was Alyssa, who was kind of hovering around towards heaven. So that became a really tough spot for them to come in. We'll see how they make an adjustment here. They should still have a full buy. So we are full buy versus full buy, but this is now sudden death mm -hmm. for Rewind. Pressure on for both teams. Biop has to close Rewind out here. Rewind obviously has to take several rounds in a row. To feel good about themselves. Shortify with the opening ah, pick run. there. Oh, Artada goes down, and that's a big fragger there on the side of B-Hop going down. Great trades right now. It's a 3v2 coming into the site. They have plant now. And Spicy... Oh, he might have dropped the off already, but I was about to say, I think they have an operator they have to deal with here. Operator retake is very hard, but it does look like they're in a... They might go for this still. Looking for the Sova. Looking a little bit for a bit of information. Does see one with that. Oh wow, just sees the That's tip of the cap. Has been great here. Wow. Oh but the fade the fade <laughs> the, the battle of the initiators where yep. who can wallbang with their head scan <laughs> more? <laughs> oh man. A quote unquote skill getting through the walls, just kinda of blind firing right at the end there. Rewind gets the little bit of help. Taking that round, they need to force the overtime though. So They're gonna need three rounds in a row to do it. Let's take a quick look at the alts coming in here. So we are 12 to 9. Rewind is down, but they do have a Razor Rocket here. This mm -hmm. is such a great tool to initiate into a site with to force everyone to run away pretty much. Um, they don't really have a lot to back it up with right now, but I could still see them using it dry with a couple flashes to just try and take site control. But it looks like there's a heavy mid presence here right now. They want to come out through mid and they want to take they want to take a mid control play here. Okay, this is something that we haven't seen a whole lot from either side attacking. Yeah, mid's been fairly underlooked. We're just a mid, a mid split A from the looks of it. Artada not able to find. Oh, he's the out kill. of lives. Uh oh. Wow. Takes a this gets really tough now. Though. Trading across the board, just an absolute alleyway of death there. Oh my goodness, six go down. A nice shot there from Kimson. Takes B yeah, that down was really to quick because there was there was already three stacked there with a quick rotate and the flank coming in. Mm -hmm. Only unfortunately, unless it's just a touch late with the flank here. So now the position is going with Silva. It's gonna be uh, quite a clutch opportunity here for Alyssa. 
Looking for the retake, has to take two out. KO is low here. One is definitely, yep, KO is definitely low. This is doable. Let's see what you got. Going with the low peak. I'm not sure if they know if she's there yet. Does take her. The Sova out. Does take Alyssa out. Kimson with a three piece in that round. And uh, rewind here. Uh, kind yeah, of poised to force the overtime. You know what? This, this has been back and forth. And here's the thing. If you look at the economy, they're on a full save. Mm -hmm. They they are choosing to go that they they want to go for the win next round, which is the right play instead of trying to force, force, force. Right. Um, it's okay that they did that. So this should be a, not a guaranteed round, but there is a heavy advantage towards rewind in this round. Yeah, and you know if you're um, B Hop, you're just hoping to get a couple, couple of them down, a couple of the rewind players down, um, try to even up the gold a little bit. Look at this push; they're already up. Oh man! And Arda gets one. We've seen this before from them, and it wasn't punished. Now there's three players coming through mid. They're getting pinned in here. They have nowhere to go. That was such a great move. Martata from the side of B-Hop there. Oh, Alyssa does go down, though. So does Lichy, so does Sarah. It looks like the Dream might be dead for this round for B-Hop. Finds the Vandal, though. Artata's shown quite a bit of skill here. Has a three-piece. It needs an ace. The victory in the way. Cannot find it. Kim Zanil. Gonna find Artata I really like there. that play. I, I, that, that play from Behop is such a mm -hmm. fun little thing to see. You throw a KO flash deep into tiles there and the jet dashes out. Managed to get an early pick there. I'm a little surprised they all fell off of it and they went back through mid-doors. Um, they didn't manage to make it interesting, but it uh, it got a little... The fact they made it that close is always exciting. Mm -hmm. We are coming into the final round now, though. This is do or die. We still have the Raised Rocket, by the way. Short, <laughs> Shortify is still holding that Raised Rocket. They have such a big ult economy here. But on the other side, the null commands online, which can literally turn off the Razel. Right. We'll see so how. So now we're in a really this. interesting spot of null command versus Razel. B Hop probably yeah, feel pretty good down. about taking three rewind players out last round on on the save. Now getting that yeah, full wait. buy together. Look at this default. They're taking their time, kind of seeing what they can find. Both tour de forces are online here. B Hop looking like they're choosing the A objective. So is so too is rewind. Look at the gamble. There's four players already here. Wow. Yeah. Omen's the gonna be back now. Yeah, they're starting to second guess it. Fade ultimate. And here comes, comes the through. fatal. You should see the rocket. They know. Artada with the entry frag. We're used to that by now. Looking for the flashes up there, trying to find any damage they can. Sarah finds Icy. Okay, it's a 4v4 and match point for B Hop. The rocket is still online and it has not been used yet, I don't believe. But the thing is, is that she's still shut oh, off. Oh, okay. The rocket's still off. We, they need to get the rocket online here. Oh, no, they couldn't get it out. Oh, what a play from Alyssa there. And B Hop, what a retake oh, that was. Oh, my gosh. All the ultimates coming through for that <laughs> final retake. And they managed to win the 13-11. Great map by both teams here. Wow, that that last uh, couple rounds, absolute banger rounds there. Uh, that's really the excitement of Valorant. Really, it's a it's a lot. Of, it's a very much a thinking game. Uh, you know when to buy what, uh, where to go. You saw the the fake. They all kind of hovered B for a second and uh, then decided. You know we're going to A. Um, be hop able to get a really good retake able to, to kind of sniff it out i'm really impressed with both teams there we'll be following rewind more today so we might be able to see um some more great performances from their players but uh congratulations uh of course to um be hop celestial taking that first win on stream yeah be hop celestial came out um and you know what they started a little slow we mm -hmm. talked about that right they started down 03 and then they brought it back and they got their feet going Right. Um, I saw some. The one thing that both sides brought some really interesting things to the table. I think that B Hop showed a little more willingness to gamble and make some aggressive looks versus Rewind was very, very clinical and mm -hmm. very to the book, proper trading. It was really cool to see the really big range of different play styles between the two teams. Right. And both, I think, showed a lot of value. And you can see by how close this game was, right? 
Yeah. There's neither team was outmatched. They were going blow for blow across the board, one in a more almost loosey goosey kind of be very aggressive play style versus yeah. that much more structured, finds your openings and engages a team. No, I thought that was uh, you kind of nailed nailed it. I think with that, um, it, it did feel like uh, rewind playing a little more mathematically, playing a little bit tighter. Um, and it was some of those loose plays, some of those really brave plays from B-Hop that kind of shown a little bit of that difference. Um, if they don't find uh, three kills on that on that save round, uh, I mean, we might be looking at a different, we might be looking at overtime essentially for B-Hop and Rewind. Um, but nonetheless, uh, B-Hop do wind up closing it out after that slow start, um, really picking it up.